Yes, ladies and gentlemen, South by Southwest 2012, Peter Rosenberg, Hot 97, and I only planned one interview this year. Of course, I was in the same spot last year. I talked to Odd Future. This year, my one interview that I wanted to have is this dude sitting next to me right now. Mother effing mystical is in the building. Wow, no pun intended, mother effers. But uh, <laughs> what's happening, baby? What's happening, man? Yo, what's great. Up, Thank you, man. No, don't real. mention it, man. Come on. This is this is one of the first rappers I met in the game when I had just gotten started. Cool ass dude, and I'm real excited that you're back. You're with Young Money. First of all, t a lot of people didn't. He's with Young Money. It's it's crazy. It's kind of crazy. That makes my little heart start beating fast, man. For real. Well, first of all, is it weird being Cash Money with all the time you spent with No Limit? I mean, this is like this is like going from the Lakers to the Celtics. I mean, no, it, it actually really, really, truly, truly prepared me. Now I'm ready. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, it was like training, man. You, you know, because it's, it's, you know, it, it was all steps. You know, it's definitely a fucking step up from any and everything I've ever done. Believe that. What, we're, are you, do you still have a relationship with anyone at No Limit? Yes, indeed, man. Big time. As a matter of fact, I just seen Mia X uh, a little while ago at, at Nice Kicks where I got these from you. Mia X was at Nice Kicks? Yes, she was. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. Sway, Sway brought that together. South by Southwest is so real. Shout out to Sway. That's how real South by Southwest is. That, that's what South by Southwest is all the fuck about. You know, this this, this networking and, inter you know, we, we, we supposed to uh, correspond with each other. And, you know what I'm talking about? Get, get it up there. One of, one of my favorite things about Mystical is, in my opinion, you're truly one of the hip-hop, like, originals. We have some personalities in hip-hop that are true originals. And uh, you got your, you know... Original, oh, oh. get it? Original, oh, original. Original. I'm just Name saying. it the single. Yes. I wasn't even saying... But that's not the you got, you got... Uh, and this is, uh, no, not to gas you up, but in my opinion, there, there are cats like Old Dirty, right. DMX, oh, right. and then Mystical. Cats who are, like, just totally their own. When that record came out, Tell me about the response you started getting all the way back when that verse on Make Em Say Uh dropped because your your life changed after that right, joint. Right. You know, it, recognition. You know, places I was normally going that I could slide through, I couldn't slide through no more. They, hey, hey, can I get, you know, get, get, you know more recognition and shit. That's, that's, that's the kind of things uh, songs like that do, man. Crazy. Do you have a... Do you have a standout crazy performance that song? Because my favorite story about that was Tigger. When I was interning for Tigger back in the day, he came back after that song was rocking. He said, I was at a party in Atlanta. When Mystical's verse happened, they had to shut down the party because they were trying to throw someone off the balcony <laughs> during Mystical's verse. Do you have any moments in particular you remember of that song being out of control? You know, I'm, I remember... Uh getting cornered by some girls and they trying to they was trying to disrobe my ass man so you know it gets serious like that you know they got down to the draw they didn't get down to the skin they had to like my pan my, my boxes and shit showing so yeah Yo, so that's so, how crazy that shit on a, on a serious note how, how long were you gone how long were you away from yes day for day 2182 well leap year 83 83 years i mean 83 days how yeah how 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 difficult was that time that's a long time yeah it, it was tough first the first thing i had to do was just adjust to the difference in the you know the situations themselves coming from being able to do whatever the fuck i wanted to to doing nothing without permission you know so that was where, and where were you and where were you i was in louisiana i was at hunting in a couple of various uh uh what they call satellite camps private owned uh institutions or facilities did you get a lot of love like was everyone cool to you everyone recognized you did you still have to i was in prison i ain't go to prison looking for no fucking love looking for love you know what oh i forgot oh, please. I, I forgot i forgot someone a wise man told me don't ask about love in prison i didn't mean it like that i didn't mean it like that no i was just i was just making light of it but that, you know seriously though it was a lot of respect man you know a lot of a lot of guys were fans there, and, and they had a lot of talent inside that place too you know and I'm sitting my talent today is in there with them. And did people did, did people come visit you? Did P, did No Limit Cats come uh, visit you? The first, the first big visit I got was uh, Shaquille O'Neal. He came through, it was like 8 o'clock. They, come put your visit clothes and go get a haircut. I'm thinking it's a attorney visit. I ain't, I'm thinking I'm finna go home. I ain't know what the fuck it was. Shaq, big ass. You all right, bro? Come check on you. Got, got money on your books and shit. I'm talking about he, that, and, and that shit carried me, man. That shit carried me for years. Well, that's just, very real. Just, just that regard, you know, just him thinking about me enough to come through there and check on me, you know. Who were uh? He's on. Yeah, shout out to Shaq. Big. Real hip hop head. Um, who were your influences, man? I've never really heard you talk about your influences. You do have a really original style, but was there anyone, any of the old school cats coming New York, up? New, the New York shit, you know, because New Orleans was, you know, was a was a big melting pot from us. You know, we we got all the trends and the styles, and we just put our twists on them, you know, like the LLs. You know, I'm talking about then on the West Coast, the fucking NWA, Ice Cube, and at home, we had Scarface. You know what I'm talking about? We had, man. And how'd you end up sounding so crazy, though? How did you end up coming with this style that sounded so different? I think I think the day I met uh, 
a New Orleans rapper named Tim Smooth. He just died of cancer not too long ago. Bless his soul, yeah. Rest in peace. But uh, the day I met that guy, and that was my first day uh, smoking trees, too. That was so Big day. That's a big hip-hop day. Big time. So Tim Smooth, a combination of Tim Smooth and being introduced to them trees, it was... That's where that style came from. And all of a sudden, this became this voice that, so that it, a lot of people, the records you had, you had such a big run in the early 2000s. Um, I saw this guy All-Star Weekend in D.C. when he was absolutely destroying the game. I was just a kid coming up, and, and you were killing it. A lot of that work was with Pharrell, which in retrospect is a kind of random combination with Neptunes. Any chance we can see? Right. Matter of fact, I just talked to him not too long ago, <laughs> and it's a direct quote. He said, uh, I got a fucking armor car beat for you. A armor car track. Now, what the fuck does that mean? Armor car track. Yeah, that bitch must be hard. It must be invincible. You know what I'm talking about? So, so we could see we could see you in the Neptunes again. Big time. Long, it's long, you know, our schedules uh, get get it, allow it. It's gonna happen. Well, one thing I think is really cool is all this technology. All you gotta do is email that bitch to my email it back to him. <laughs> That's Done. It. Tracks over. One thing that's one thing I found really interesting too is that in signing with Young Money, you know, I me mean, being a super underground dude, signed Young Money, signed Young Money. Ooh, signed I young got money. A job. I'm employed. Fuck, I was unemployed for two years. My interviews, people was gonna sound like this here, prior to me signing uh, signing with, with Young Money, Cash Money, and also signing with Stampede Management. You know, the the, the, the guys that's behind Brand Snoop Dogg, that's my manager. I ain't bragging. I'm just fucking saying. But anyway, you're, you're just happy, and you should be. You should be. That's a. Imagine how. What the fuck? I ain't really have nothing to talk about. I was home for two years. I got tired of saying the album coming. It's coming two years past. Well, how long is it gonna take, Miss? You know. So how did it happen? So why did why did it end up? What what happened? did Wayne? You run into Wayne? You run into Baby? What happened? It was just a process. You know, that's just a process. That's how I went, and yeah, but, I, and I, I wasn't ready yet because I still didn't know how the game was and where everything. I was gone six years. So I was out the fucking loop. But then so, the cool thing was you come out with original. You come with original, and you know I'm a I'm a pretty underground dude, so I'm not right. I'm not I'm not known in the streets as being Captain Young Money. I'll be honest with you, right. but I was excited to see that you're getting an opportunity on Young Money. And original is a is a real hip hop record. You came with a real joint. So are they letting are they giving you creative control to do what you want to do? I can run and slide with my fucking socks on in the studio. Wee, that's how much creative space I got. You know, for real fast. Not not the not the uh. Tone crew shirt with the drawers, but just the just the socks, you know what I'm talking about? And slide. That's frisky fucking, business. Exactly. That's some creative freedom, man. For real. That's fantastic, man. Well, listen, everyone's very excited about you coming back. We're excited. excited. To Imagine how the man, do y'all, man, I am a wreck right now, man. I am, what is I gonna happen? So and can I say this? I mean, we all know black don't crack. You look the same age as when you left. You didn't age no, no, a day. Now no, no, that was God. You know, he he know that he still has something for me to do, so he kind of preserved me a little bit. You know, and you know. Did you work out? Did you do the typical workout? Moving jail till you stayed. Oh, I came home really big. Y'all, I, I burnt a lot of penitential muscles off right now, but you know, I was really big when I came home. Yeah. Um, we're super excited that you're back, man. Uh, when you're in New York, we want to see you. I'm excited to see you start touching these stages, man. Let me say, I saw this man at Jazz Fest last year in New Orleans. It was an honor, as you said earlier, getting to see you in your natural habitat, New Orleans. And I saw this man tanned on the stage when you had nothing else going on. So I can only imagine what it's gonna be like. First time I see Weezy bring you on that stage. Well, you put it together, man. You said it. I, I didn't, you know. But I can tell you, and honestly, I ain't just saying it because it me. This motherfucking album, man. This bitch here. This is probably gonna be my best effort. Believe that. Cause just you know, just think about all the shit that I, you know, all the emotions and everything I put into it prior to me going through this shit. So with everything, everything I just went through. This fucking album gonna be a monster. Believe that. It's gonna have everything in it, but it's, it's still gonna be fun and it's really, really gonna be mystical. Believe that. Well worth the wait. Thank y'all for the support. You know, support me through all that ordeal or whatever. And even now, and thank y'all for all the views on, on goddamn World Star. You know what I'm talking about? Thank y'all, man, for real. Can I just say, just throwing this out there to my bosses, Lil Wayne brings out Mr. Cole on the Summer Jam stage. Would that be. Wow. Did you ever hit a Summer Jam stage yet? No, I don't think so. I don't think if, if if I did, it was a long time ago. I'm, I'm sure I graced the summer stage stage, but it had to be a while ago. You'd remember if you hit the summer jam stage in front of fifty thousand. True that. True that. We're gonna get you. Like a jazz fest thing, right? Exactly. We're gonna make that movie, man. Mister, pleasure, buddy. I am not a group.